Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another problem. And this problem is about angular Kanban board and uh, we are going to solve it, okay? So this is our problem statement. It's like uh, a GIF which will tell you how to approach this particular problem, okay? Like every hacker rank test provide these kind of visuals. Like this is the initial state. Now you add a item or you can say a task to the Kanban board. Now, when you, you can keep adding the multiple tasks, those tasks will be added to the backlog. When you select a particular task, that task will appear in the current selection. Then you can actually move back, move forward, delete, these kind of operations you can do. So always first look at this particular ZIF because this gives you a lot of idea how the whole application is working. When, when we should enable the move forward, move back button, when should all the buttons should be disabled right when you delete something this selection should be should disappear and everything should become disabled because based on this the test case are written when you click on delete everything is disabled and test case are also written based on this so you have to take care of this particular approach and now we are building the same thing here and we will see what are the the use cases what are the test cases we need to handle i will just uh, give do a little bit zoom so this is visible okay now what we are going to do is there is already a partial skeleton you will always have okay we will start with that and this is about the previous react shopping cart test cases because passing all the test cases is important here it's not about you your functionality is working but you but you should also be able to pass all the test cases and these test cases are nothing but based on the id uh, they will automate the click events and all so you should not be changing any particular id in the html okay now let's move to this angular problem and in this problem it's a basic skeleton we have and we already know how angular works and all these things so if we take a look onto the component structure component skeleton here we have this simple form when you type something what we want is we wanted to add the item in the backlog then you can move forward and back and done okay so what we are going to do here is we have this kanban view component and this kanban view html so one more uh, i will say suggestion always take a look on to the test case also that will give you the kind of structure your test cases, your data uh, which you are passing back and forth. So in the hacker rank, you should never change any test cases. So this is your test case and this is your stage look like. Okay, we have ID, name and the cards which are going to have a name and ID. Okay, this is fine. This is card is an array. ID for all the stages. And here if you add a new item, then by default it should add it to the cards of the backlog when you move it like backlog to to do this item should be removed from here and should be pushed to this cards array of to do then similarly if you move back and forth you should be we should be writing the code which is removing the item from the first uh, stage and pushing it to the second stage cards okay so this is how it is and we have two child component kanban stage and kanban stage will have kanban cards so because these tests will these tests will test your all the skills about angular component communications event handling and state management and all right so if you see kanban card component which is already written here on the Kanban card, when you click on it, we are actually passing the ID, card.id on card select. On card select, we have defined. This is an output uh, annotation, means we are emitting the event and we are sending the card ID. So if you take a look onto the spec, this is also expecting that we should emit a card ID from this component, okay? That is happening and we are good here. Now coming to the card stage, Kanban stage, because this event will be emitted to the Kanban stage. This is our Kanban stage component. In the Kanban stage on card select, we are sending the event and it is just iterating onto the 
cards of the stage right this is the stage component this is the stage component right it will iterate on to all the cards which you are adding okay uh, development item one backlog grooming all the items which you are adding so we are iterating on to this and there is a on card select event so on the on card select event i am already getting the id from my child component and here i am adding the stage id also stage we already have in this component so i'm putting the stage id so finally my the kanban stage when you because we need a feature whenever you click on any of the item so this is our requirement testing when i click on to this item should be added in the backlog and when you click on to this that item disc item label and these buttons should be enabled based on where you have added the item if you added item in the backlog means you can't move back only move forward and delete should be enabled when you move the item to to do all the items should be enabled because you can move back move forward forward right and whenever you click on any card that card label should come here i mean we already have the selected stage index selected card id and card name in the state okay so we got the card id and stage id when you click on to any item now let's start with the our card component sorry kanban view component that is the topmost component and this is rendering our two components sorry kanban stage component because kanban stage has a kanban card as a child component so this is your our html you can see we are iterating on to all the stages and whenever there is an event coming from the child component on card select this on card select will give us the card id and the stage id okay on card select so those methods we need to write we already have some variables like a new card name which is because we have written this simple html here this is the ng model to we data binding card name the desired button right so whenever you type something on do uh, on add card then we should be able to add this item okay let's do this first we are in the typescript of the component and on add card okay so this particular variable uh, this dot task will have the whatever you are typing in the text field right so what we can do is we need to by default push the item in the backlog so we already know stage 0 and here in the cards we can push the item stage 0 dot cards dot push and the item will be name equal to this dot task and the another thing we have is the id id we are considering the numeric so what we can say is i will just check what all cards i already have and i will just push the length plus one so this dot stage i think it's a stages so these are our important methods like after doing add card we have we are calling on card select whenever any card is getting clicked right and we have to maintain these three things only the card id card index and card name right whenever you are selecting a card what we can simply do is uh, this dot stages and we already got the stage selected stage index selected stage index and dot card because we need to also get the card label right so we can just do a for each loop onto this before that we have to actually get the card index and card id so just remove these things from here so stage id uh, we have to just do a minus one because index is starting from zero here we have cards and we are doing a for each and here we can write a simple condition to get the label of the selected card right this is selected card name j dot name so this will help us to populate the active card onto the text field now on move backward move forward let's test this one for now if it is working so 
So we added this. Yes, this is fine. Right. Now what we need to do is on move backward and move forward. Right. So first of all, what we will do is whenever we are moving any card to the forward, right. The, the previous index from there we have to remove the card and in the next index we have to add the card right so if I just directly add this logic and then I will explain how I did this so this is move back what it is doing is this is our correct, uh, current index right which is minus one and in the current index we are just doing a filter out okay remove this particular ID and in the next index just do the push for the same name and for the same ID and once you are done set the the current stage index to the minus one because you did move backward same thing on the move forward what you will do is let's copy this move forward here we will just do we will increase the index while adding the item and here once we are done we have to also update the next stage index right which is plus one now if you take a look what we are doing is move backward right we have to move back means on the current index we have to remove this item and in the index minus one we have to add this item and then our the next stage index will be minus one when we move forward remove the item from the current index do the plus one and do the push and update the stage index to the plus one and when you do the delete we are not moving item what we are doing is we are just removing the item from the current stage index because before delete you have to select it so from the current selection index we are doing filter and we are removing that item from here and card name is empty and stage index is minus one this will help us to disable all the buttons when the you are deleting the item from any particular stage so when you delete first remove that item from that particular stage and disable the buttons okay so this is pretty much the logic we need to write okay once we have on card select we are getting the stage index card id we just need to get the card label right so we iterate on the current selection uh, current index where you actually did a click then move backward move forward and the delete so if we just test this test one let's say I'm selecting test one move forward and we need to enable add the ng if I disable property on these buttons what they will do is the default condition is if your uh, current selection index is zero that means you can't move back so just disable the but, uh, back button if your current stage index is zero okay if your current stage index is one then that means enable all the button right if you delete this if I delete this means there is a no selection disable all the buttons so that we are doing in the HTML and here we put the conditions okay if current stage index is minus one or zero disable it uh, forward button if current selection index is minus one or three means your item is at the end of the Tanwan board means disable the forward button if it is at the starting disable the back button and once you are deleting it we are resetting the selected stage index to minus one so that means disable all the buttons now after doing this the important part is making sure that your test cases are passing okay so this is not shopping cart we'll go to angular kanban board npm run test so this will run the our test cases if any test case is failing you'll try to fix it but this is pretty much okay we can wait and see if all our test cases are passing if all passing that means we are done we can just deploy push this code so all test cases are passed and we are good so i will just push this to the github you guys can also have a look onto the code thanks everyone